I was Thomas's assistant at the time. I was a young and ambitious vet, just starting out. I loved her dearly. I hoped that you would marry me if I asked. I was hoping he'd ask me to marry him. I was developing a pheromone to increase the birth yield in cattle. It would have been a windfall for him if he had been successful. We were working late one night in my lab. That's when the accident happened. I'm so sorry. It's all right. I'm such a klutz. It's not a problem, really. The pheromone was designed to be rubbed into the hide of the cow to attract a bull. But he had no success with his experiments. In desperation, he explored beyond the bounds of accepted scientific practice. Into the bovine solution, he introduced the pheromones of a dozen other animals. Some endangered, some human. The result had properties greater and more universal than he intended. You are so beautiful. Dr. Parker, what are you doing? Love me, Meredith. Thomas, no! He was beyond his own control, acting on an impulse of his own creation that I'm sure he didn't understand. It was the scariest experience I had in my young life. I had no idea what was about to happen on the way home. Bats were everywhere. They were attracted by the pheromone. They swooped. They bit. The next morning, I found Meredith barely alive. I took her home. I still loved her, though we were both ashamed that we couldn't even look at each other. As time passed, I begged her to marry me. I hoped that she would love me again. In my heart, I knew I could never love her again. Having a family. We moved to Hope Falls, where I was sure with time we could put the horrors of the past behind us. But the true horror was yet to come once we made it to the birth of our first child. Just one more push. That's it. <laughs> Good, wonderful. One more push. Congratulations, Meredith. You're the mother of a baby girl. She's beautiful. Can I hold her? All right, let's just clean her off for you, and we'll... Wait, what's this? Ah. Hang on a second. Ah. Sure, may just be the placenta. What is it?
The job fell to me. I took the bat child out to the woods. I had put to sleep countless animals in my work, so killing the thing should not have been a problem. I dearly hoped that this act would finally convince Meredith of the depth of my love for her. But I found... I couldn't do it. I knew I'd be killing my own creation. Nonetheless, I couldn't take such a monster back into my home, to my wife, and have it serve as a reminder of the past we worked so hard to erase.